aplaudieron, pero nosotros, como me duele el corazón, no, no me siento de esa manera. I gather some strength to speak because I, I'm hurting in my heart right now that formal Mayor Cook was singing, everybody was happy and applauding, but not us, not us, because I have a great hurt in my heart. Uh, yo vivo en la calle Chihuahua. Yo llegué a, a esa casa más o menos en los 70s. Uh, tenía mis hermanas chicas, yo era la que trabajaba un poquito de tiempo, mi papá falleció. I live on Chihuahua Street. I arrived there in the 70s with my sisters. Uh, we lived there and a little bit after our father passed away. I was the only one that could work back then and help my mother. So that my sisters could go to school and study. No. Mis, mis pares me acompañan por tantos años que yo tuve ahí. And one thing that I want to tell you, I don't want to move, I don't want to sell my house. The walls are part of me. The walls are, um, have been with me all this time. Um, cuando, yo escucho, cuando yo escucho las noticias me da pavor, no quiero escuchar las noticias. When I listen to the news, I'm very taken back, I'm very scared, I don't want to listen to the news. I wish um, all of you could put your hands over your heart and know how I feel, I don't want to move. I have my grandkids and one of them is 11 years old and he says, Grandma, they're going to destroy your house. And all of you, I congratulate you on the place that you sit now, on the position that you hold now. And I, I think that is all. I have a lot of things to say, but I think that um, that that is all. And I we just want you to support us. Please support us. We've come to this place many times. We probably sound like a broken record already, but we want an answer, please. Miss Mendoza, as the representative of your neighborhood. I'm heartbroken by your story today, and I know that your sister, you went to go work really hard so that your sister could have a better education, and she's now the assistant to the mayor. And I cannot sit here and tell you that I'm not going to stand up for you as we move forward. I've had enough. That's, these were never our intentions. Everyone's facing the holiday season. I want you to enjoy it with your family, and as long as I'm sitting in this seat, I promise you, I will do everything I can to protect during veto and make sure that everyone's taken care of. And I'm not going to stand for this anymore. 